example. So lesson 4.3, simplified form for radical. So before we begin um, some practicing problem, we want to review these problems. If we do x squared equal to 4, how to find x value from here? So we will take square root both sides, right? Then x going to be plus and minus 2 here. So basically we, we always solve it this way. Then let's think about why it is possible. So this means square root. So the hidden 2 is right here. And then this one, like uh, uh, I showed from the last video, uh, this is the square root a means a to the 1 over 2 power. Therefore, when you take out, square then becomes a. Okay? The same meaning basically. We can cancel this out or square root a square, you can cancel this out and then make a here. Okay? So based on this, so the key point is square root a square which is a which means anything become pair then it came out single a that is the key point so based on that let's practice a few problems so number one b here square root 50. so as it is it's not possible to solve it so we need to find out prime factorization of this problem. So 50 means 10 times 5. 10 means 2 times 5. So this become 5 times 5 times 2. Or you can also rewrite this 5 squared times 2, which means root 5 squared times root 2. So this cancelled out, so it becomes 5 root 2. That should be the answer. Okay. What about E case? E it shows that negative cubic root 54. Okay. You need to watch out this number carefully. It is cubic. So cubic, mean, cubic means everything must be third power. Then it come out as single A here. So for example, if you have square and um, cubic root, maybe a cube, then this cancelled out, so it becomes a. So you need to find out something cube power. So same way, we want to find out prime factorization, prime factorization of 54. Then this is the 9 times 6, 3 times 3, 3 times 2. So this becomes negatives are already outside so you keep that and cubic root 3 cubed times 2 which means negative cubic root 3 cubed times cubic root 2 so this cancelled out so become negative 3 cubic root 2 okay so look at uh, little bit more complicated problem such as on um, page 67 letter n which is cubic root 24 a cube b square and c fifth okay so as you see this has number a b and c here so you can separate them and then analyze it uh, in uh, separately too. So cubic root 24, cubic root a cube, cubic root b square, cubic root c5 here. Okay. Then now 24. You need to find out is prime factorization. So this is the a times three. 2 times 4 and 2 times 2 so we have 2 cube here so you can rewrite this 
cubic root 2 cubed times 3 and cubic root a cube now cubic root b square and now c5 so c5 means 1 2 3 4 5 so c cubed times c square so now take out all the cubic one as a single number which is 2 a c and then now remaining term 3 b square and c square must be inside still okay so last example of this section letter p square root 32 a seventh b tenth c cube no number here which means they are hidden to exist which means if everything pair will be one single number so same way so i'm gonna divide number term a term b term and c term okay then 32 which means 4 times 8 this means 2 times 2 2 times 4 and 2 times 2 so you see one pair another pair okay now a7 so a7 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so one pair two pair three pair right okay if you do same thing then you know you may notice that you can use the division for the variable case here so now a7 you can make a sixth time a here right then how do i know just make seven divide by oh sorry seven just to make uh, how many pair you can make it right so this means and then b10 there are b2 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 so you can make the total five pair and in this case you can make three pairs yeah and then this one c cube means you can make one pair and then one single c here so the answer becomes two times two times one two three a cube one two three four five b five one c and then left over becomes two and then a and then c that's the answer so simplify then for a cube b fifth c square root two a c okay so they can be the our final answer okay then now i will just tell you because of this like this the exponent is pretty big here right then we can make division rule and then make it so like a seventh here then you can make 7 divided by 2 then 2 go to 7 3 times the left over 1 here which means 3 power come out and then 1 left so root a7 you can make a cube square root a so 3 power come out single power left inside like that so b10 you can do 10 divided by 2 then 5 times so it's evenly divided which means fifth power come out and then no power left so it becomes square root b 10 b 10 means p to the fifth power okay